Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A bill to provide $380 million in public funding for a new baseball stadium for the Oakland Athletics is heading to Governor Lombardo's desk. Lawmakers in the Assembly voted to approve an amended version of the measure Wednesday afternoon. The Assembly vote was bipartisan, with 10 Republicans and 15 Democrats voting to pass the measure, while four Republicans and 11 Democrats voted against it. A couple facing multiple child abuse charges after police found two bruised children locked in a dog kennel in an apartment were arraigned on Wednesday. 31-year-old Travis Doss and 33-year-old Amanda Stamper's preliminary hearings were scheduled for June 29th. According to Metro Police, one of the children kept in the kennel had eyes that were black and swollen shut, bruises on his body, and was extremely malnourished and needed a blood transfusion. There were four other children found as well. For more details, log on to lvrj.com backslash crime. Nine women have accused Bill Cosby of sexual assault and battery that they said occurred in the comedian's Las Vegas hotel suite, according to a lawsuit filed Wednesday. The lawsuit alleges that the assaults took place between 1979 and 1992 in Nevada and that Cosby drugged or attempted to drug each woman before sexually assaulting them. The women are seeking damages on the basis of sexual assault, battery, assault, infliction of emotional distress, and false imprisonment. Transportation is at the forefront for the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority's $70 million budget. Review Journal's Jen Ah breaks down the numbers. Out of the $70.5 million total, $60 million is dedicated to the Las Vegas Monorail's three-year contract extension with Western Management Group. You may remember the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, the LVCVA, acquired the monorail out of bankruptcy a few years ago. They suspect that the, the life of the monorail now is probably another maybe five or six years. So that's what's going to happen is they're going to try to keep it going until that time. Another $6.7 million is going to Las Vegas events through June 2024. And $4.6 million for the LVCVA's one-year contract with the Boring Company's Convention Center Loop. Plus another $1.1 million over three years to establish a LVCVA representative office in South Korea being a gateway to Asia. I mean, we're talking about flights uh, that can go through Seoul from uh, Japan, Thailand, China. Look for this article on LVRJ.com. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, Las Vegas had the slowest growth in home values out of 50 major cities in the U.S. this past month. This all according to new data from Zillow. Home prices in the metro area grew 0.5 percent from April to May, which is lower than the other cities. The average price for a home in the area is $400,274, which is a 6.9 percent drop from this time last year and the fifth largest decline in the country among major cities. Nevada and Clark County both reported an increase in taxable sales in March. However, the majority of the state's counties experienced a decrease. The Department of Taxation reported that Nevada had roughly $7.7 .7 billion in taxable sales overall in March, which is a 2.4 percent increase from $7.5 billion in March of 2022. Meanwhile, Clark County had about $5.8 billion in retail taxable sales, or a 5.3 percent increase from $5.5 billion in the previous year. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly sunny skies with a slight chance of rain in parts of the valley is in your forecast for today. Highs today reaching around 97 degrees with light winds. Tonight, an increased chance of rain in some areas. Mostly cloudy skies with lows around 75 degrees. For the rest of the week, similar conditions projected for Friday. Temps heading into the weekend will stay in the upper 90s with breezy conditions. Evening lows in the mid to upper 70s. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. It might be time to ask Golden Knights owner Bill Foley for the winning lottery numbers because he has shown signs of being able to see into the future. Back in 2016, even before the NHL awarded Las Vegas an expansion, Foley said his team would make the playoffs in three seasons and win the Stanley Cup in six. The Knights have only missed the playoffs once in the team's short existence and officially made Foley's prediction come true on Tuesday. 
As for his next prediction, we might have to wait a while. I'm going to relax and think about my next, uh, my next asinine statement. <laughs> In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. As men age, testosterone levels gradually decline, especially over the age of 40. The main complaint I see as a urologist is a lack of interest in sexual functioning. But fatigue, uh, changes in mental acuity, less stamina, and very often mild degrees of depression are associated with a falling testosterone. In some cases, infertility can be tied to low testosterone, but presenting these symptoms or traits is not an automatic diagnosis. Not all men need testosterone. It's very important that this diagnosis is properly made. It's made based upon symptoms, but also the actual blood level, the serum level of testosterone. For more info, visit newsnetwork.mayoclinic.org. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Triple Smoke and Cigar Shop. The College Baseball World Series starts Friday in Omaha, Nebraska, and top-seeded Wake Forest is the plus-225 favorite at Circa Sportsbook to win its first national championship since 1955. Second-seeded Florida and LSU have the next best odds at plus-415, followed by Virginia at plus-650. Tennessee is at 10 to 1, while TCU is at plus 1050. Stanford, making its third straight appearance in the tournament, is 13 to 1. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. A proposal to bring the film industry to Southern Nevada through a massive tax credit plan failed in the Nevada legislature, but stakeholders remain hopeful that the idea will stick around. Senate Bill 496 would have made $190 million in film infrastructure tax credits available annually for the next 20 years. The bill received support but never made it to a vote, and a spokesperson for Governor Lombardo declined to comment on whether he would call a special session for the film tax credit bill. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerhour. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.